Should stackers get into metal detecting? Festival. Pick up another one of these. Same one that I bought from uh, last week. 1955 Cinco Peso. This one's actually uncirculated. It said in the listing. What is up you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. This poor man stacker here. And uh, yeah, the thumbnail is correct. This is what I'm going to be introducing to this channel. Um, and it's actually a question we should be asking ourselves as stackers. If you follow me on this journey and you, you notice how I've been stacking and growing my stack, but uh, I've been wanting to get into something else, something along the line similar to what I do here. Also prospecting and just, you know, everything in between that, like this, that you would think that is like, oh, okay, but... This right here is actually an antique silver ring. And uh, that's actually something my wife bought. But uh, yeah, I want to be able to find stuff like that. I want to be able to to hunt and, and maybe find treasure. Who knows? You never know unless you try. And and I wanted to ask the question, you know, something that you can ask yourself, you know, you know, why do not sackers get involved in metal detecting? And uh, I've been really wanting to be able to do a activity, you know, to get involved in something, you know, something that can be kind of rewarding. And uh, and I picked this thing up and I'm going to show you guys. I ended up picking up the Simplex Plus. Uh, I've been doing tons of reviews and uh, it seems to be like one of the better budget ones that you can get. And uh, I actually ended up picking it up from Amazon at a really good deal because I noticed that, you know, you want to be able to get a good pinpointer, you know, once you start digging so you can really target the metal that you're hunting. So, and I've been searching for a little while. I spent like a month really doing doing my research and um, and I was like, man, you know, they're, they're a little pricey. Even the Simplex Plus can be a little pricey, but it seems to be the best budget one. But also I know that I wanted to be able to get a good pinpointer too. And I happened to see it on Amazon and there's only like five in stock and it really popped up because there wasn't no combo pack like this on Amazon for a while. So I went ahead and picked it up uh, beginning of this month, really. And I uh, just really starting to just dabbling into it and just really starting to learn. Uh, there's a lot to learn with it, but I mean, really, it's it's it starts getting simple as you use it. And um very fortunate that I'm able to try it out at my mom's uh, husband's house, my stepdad's house. And uh, he's got, you know, land and stuff like that. He's got a little bit over 100 acres and I'm able to just, you know, get out there and just mess around it, really farmland and stuff like that. But there is a trail that used to go through there and they used to use wagons. And I'm like, man, this is awesome. And I was mentioning it to somebody at work. They're like, man, you know, you never know. What if Wells Fargo, you know, went through there or all these old banks? But it's it's fun to think about. But ultimately, it's something I wanted to get into and, and really wanted to do a video to to mention it and, and to really for you guys to ask yourselves that questions too. Like, why do not stackers get more involved in metal detecting? And this is what I wanted to introduce to this channel. And uh, yeah, the Simplex Plus is actually waterproof um, it's got so many awesome features and like I said I've done some research on this and it seems to be a real beast when it comes to a budget metal detector and uh and yeah just think about it just stuff like this I mean people find gold rings I'm really like maybe three hours away from the beach so a day trip you know it could be in the future and you know just really just you never know unless you you get out there and kind of get involved and uh, especially around creeks and stuff i even bought a panning kit um yeah just trying to really dabble into things i can be more productive and produce more content for this channel because you guys i don't know about y'all but seeing these channels out there and some of these stacking channels too and i do not want to base this channel off fear or anything like that and with the banking stuff going on I see people taking advantage of it and people who are actually really growing their channel just by, you know, pushing this fear stuff. And I don't want to be that type of stacker. I don't want to be that type of channel. I want to be able to be a channel that can grow, you know, naturally and uh, and really just without any of the fear based stuff. I want to be able to be honest. I want to be able be a to be a good channel that you can really spend some time at to be able to take advantage of anyone put a bunch of random stuff on i mean we get enough of it as it is but just a place where you can kind of be inspired 
but also see the growth of uh, the stacking and everything in between. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be introducing to this channel. So pretty soon you'll be seeing, you know, different type of metal detecting, you know, days when I'm out and I have time to get out to do it and film. You know, it's not going to be bombarded with it, but it's going to be something I'm going to introduce to this channel because I want to be able to yeah. show also what it is because I am a beginner and to see how it works. And maybe you can just, you know, check it out and see. And hey, you, you never know. You might say, hey, this might be something I might want to get into. And, and like I said, stuff like this, you know, obviously this is something that my wife bought. But uh, I mean, think about it. I mean, today we had a ring appraised that, that was kind of passed down to my, my wife from her family. And uh, she was like, yeah, I just need to sell it. You know, I don't need nothing, you know, just let's get the money for it and we can, you know, put it in this or or whatever, you know, stack the cash or whatever. But and I was like, well, maybe we should get it appraised and stuff. And we ended up getting it appraised and it ended up being way more than she would get from like a pawn shop or anything like that. It was like uh, over a thousand something dollars because it had real diamonds in it and everything. And you think about that. And if you're at the beach, people, you know, lose stuff all the time. And if you're able to come across, you know, a gold ring and stuff like that, that's still gold, you guys. That's still worth money. You can still take that and be able to, to sell it out or just keep it. I mean, because really, it's the value's there. It's not going to go away. And um, that's why I was like, I need to be able to get into something. I wanted to get into something cool. I've seen other channels similar. Well, actually, a bunch. But yeah, I mean, they find some really cool stuff and you just never know. And I thought that it'd be a cool hobby to get into. So yeah, that is my announcement. And you guys need to ask yourself the questions too, man. Like we we spend money, we work or whatever you do to be able to make money, to be able to buy precious metals and stack, you know, why not, you know, if you have a little bit of free time to, to check out metal detecting, because you never know, man, it might be something cool. And, uh, you know, you never know what you might find out there. I think it'd be awesome to be able to get a hold of some, some, you know, old uh, constitutional, you know, who knows? The sky's the limit, but you'll never know unless you, you explore it and try it. But uh, yeah, you guys, this is all I got for today. And I appreciate it for your time as always. And keep an eye out pretty soon because there will be some videos coming out with me <laughs> trying to metal the tank. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next one.